Trillianella and I'm back with another hair video. If you're new here, I love to do hair videos, beauty videos, and just overall lifestyle and mommy videos. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can also find me on Instagram, Naturally Nella. I'm going to be doing a style that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Like I've always wanted to do this since I've gone natural, but I feel like it takes so much time that I was just like, I'm not messing with it. I've done other styles that take a long time, but I don't know. I was just like, I don't want to do um, finger coils because it just seems like it'll take forever. Now my hair is a lot longer. It's going to take even longer. So I probably should have tried it a long time ago when I really wanted to, but that's what I'm going to be doing today. My hair is already washed, detangled, um, I've applied leave-in conditioner, um, and I'm about to just get the process started. I got this headband on here because I had a dental appointment, and I didn't have time to finish my hair before I left, so I was looking really crazy at the office, but this is my hair freshly washed and in chunky twists, and I'm just going to unravel them and start the process. If you want to know what I washed my hair with, I used the Royal Oils Collection, their shampoo and conditioner, and I use Dove Amplified Textures Leave-In Conditioner, um, and I'm going to just go ahead and basically get started. If you watch any of my videos, then you know that practically every style I do, I do it in sections. It makes it a lot easier, keeps things organized, and it just works for me. So here are the products that I'm using. I purchased this Pattern Beauty brush um, by Tracy Ellis Ross. I love it. I'm using the Wet Line Extreme Gel, which I absolutely love as well. And then I have my Continuous Spray Bottle. I really love this spray bottle, y'all. I got mine sent to me from a company. I can't remember which one, but I've also seen them in Sally Beauty and they're not even expensive. Anyway, I am going to use my brush to detangle the hair completely and I made sure that I sprayed it pretty well. That way when I apply the gel, it soaks up into my hair the way I want it to. And I am separating this section into an even smaller section um, just to make it easier. I play absolutely no game with the gel. Like I apply a generous amount because I just want it to be evenly distributed. I don't want to miss any strand, any part of the strand. I don't want to miss it. So I use a lot of gel. Now let's get into these details. Once I saturate my hair with gel, then I am taking small pieces and then I'm doing exactly what is called finger coiling my hair um, down my finger. I naturally just started to use my other hand, I guess, to kind of hold the coil in place as I was going along so it wouldn't unravel. And that, I feel like that helped me with the process. So this is my very first time doing finger coils. And if you look at this one, you can see that it's not completely uniform. I feel like it's because I was just going way too fast, like coiling it down and not taking my time to make sure that it was completely coiled from top to bottom. So I did have to go over it in a few other sections to make sure that it looked right. But as I kept going, I started figuring it out. I got the rhythm and everything started looking much better. Verbally explaining this process is a little difficult, but I feel like by just watching me do my hair in this video, it's kind of self-explanatory of what I'm doing. I've seen people accomplish this style using a like a rat tail comb, and I've seen people do it with their finger. I just went for the finger because I felt like it would be easier and the rat tail comb was just doing way too much for me. I know y'all are probably thinking, why is she doing it so small? It's because honestly, I don't like large finger coils for me personally. Personally, They look good on other people, but for me, it's just not something that I wanted. So I got on YouTube. I was like, let me just try to find somebody who did theirs the size that I want mine to look like or the size that I want mine to be and see if I can get an idea of what it would look like. I came across only one Jess's video and hers was the closest to the size that I wanted. I feel like it might be a little bit bigger than mine, but I was like, I am going for this style. Hers was looking bomb. I'm going to link her video in the description of this video so that you guys can see. Her hair is a lot shorter than mine. When she said it took her two hours, 
honey, I knew I was going to be here all day, but I was committed to the process. Definitely committed. As you can see, I'm just going to keep going. I don't think there's a need for me to keep walking through and explaining what I'm doing because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to shut up and let you guys see what I'm doing and determine if this is something you want to do or if you just want to keep watching because it's satisfying. Look at how good this looks. I'm not even gonna lie. After the first like three, I was questioning whether or not this is something I wanna do, but I am so glad I continued because it looks so good and I can only imagine what the final results are going to look like. So I feel like I'm gonna get asked how long this took. You guys, this took me five and a half hours and I was going fast, it was uninterrupted. Like I did not stop at all. I didn't even go get water, like I just, Woke up at six o'clock in the morning, which is why I look a little puffy in the face. Woke up at six o'clock and just went for it. So yeah, this style definitely takes some time, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Another thing I did was that I started alternating between my index finger and my middle finger because baby, okay, it was getting a little bit, ir like my finger was getting a little bit irritated. It wasn't like way too painful or anything, but it was like some slight irritation there. Um, so I just alternated with winding down the hair between my index finger and my middle finger and that definitely helped out with some of that irritation. Here's what my hair looks like when I was completely finished. I feel like as I was going up, I was doing them a little bit smaller. I don't know why it just happened, um, but this is what it looked like. I'm um, not completely dry yet, and I am gonna show y'all the final results. So after a few hours, my hair was completely dry, and I'm absolutely in love with how it looks. It is just so beautiful. It looks so much better than I actually anticipated because I wasn't that confident when I started out, but I'm so glad that I did it. If you guys want a maintenance video of how I maintain these, let me know and I'll definitely give that to you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this look. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Naturally Nella, and I'll see you next time.